In this video, I want to describe how you can use a graphical method to solve a nonlinear uh, circuit, one that involves one nonlinear element and, it is, and is otherwise linear. So uh, here is a circuit down here on the left, which involves, in general, a Thevenin source and Thevenin resistance, and we have one nonlinear element. And if we plot the load line of that uh, Thevenin source, and then we plot the VI curve of the nonlinear element, the solution to the circuit, in other words, the actual current that flows around the loop and the actual voltage across the nonlinear element, is going to be found by finding the intersection between those two curves. So if you plot those curves to scale, you can uh, estimate the solution without doing any computation at all. And I want to demonstrate that uh, at this time uh, using Excel. So I have actually a, a graph that was produced, I think it was in MathCAD. I've pasted in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to work with one, uh, with one curve, one nonlinear device. That's uh, this device that uh, has a voltage equal to um, this voltage equal to five times the current flowing through the device cubed. So five times I cubed is the, um, is the characteristic of this device. Now in the, the we're going to start out with the voltage source being 10 ohms, 10 volts, and the resistance being 5 ohms. And that gives us a open circuit voltage of 10 volts, as you see here by the dotted straight line, and a short circuit current of 10 volts over 5 ohms, which is uh, equal to 2 amps. And so the intersection, uh, as you can see, occurs at 1 amp. So 1 amp is the solution. Now to demonstrate the graphical method, let's consider uh, how the solution changes if instead of having 10 volts, we actually had uh, a 5 volt source and 5 ohms. Okay, so what we do, I have a line here, I'm going to just drag around, and we're going to have an open circuit voltage of 5 volts. And now our short circuit current will no longer be 2 volts, 2 amps, right? It'll be 5 volts divided by 5 ohms, so it will be 1 amp. So we put the short circuit current at 1 amp, again that's that's 5 volts divided by 5 ohms. And now the new intersection appears to occur roughly around 0 0.7, 0 0.7 amps. All right. If uh, the voltage instead were, um, let's say it was back to 10 volts, open circuit voltage, but the resistance, instead of being 5 ohms, was 2.5 ohms. OK, so uh, what that would mean is that um, out, out at 2 amps, okay, which is as far as my graph goes, at 2 amps, the terminal voltage uh, due to the Thevenin source would be 10 volts minus 2.5 ohms times 2 amps. So 10 volts minus 5, giving me 5 volts. So I'm only halfway to my short circuit current at 2 amps. So uh, you just figure the slope, or calculate one other one point besides the open circuit voltage and you can get your line and now we see that the solution appears to be a current roughly around one and an eighth uh, of an amp 1.125 okay so that's how you can use the graphical method to uh, to find uh, the solution for an otherwise linear circuit but one that has one nonlinear element